What's up, y'all? Janique here, Janique TV, back with another message. Before we get started, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button. That way you can commit to my channel and also click on the notification bell. That way you don't miss an episode of what I'm doing here. Hmm. Today I got a word for y'all. I'm not even gonna lie, I got a word for y'all. Because this is going to, to make you go home after you, you watch this video, sit by yourself and think about the people you got around you, right? How can you do a certain thing or be a certain person that you want to be if you have the total opposite type of person hanging around you? Are you hearing me? Like, how can you be who you want to be, be who you feel you are if you have total opposites around you, right? You can't be a, a super clean person if you're living with somebody who's messy, right? You're going to be taking on all the burden. Birds of a feather do flock together. That's a real thing. I find myself praying to God lately for like-minded individuals around me, for people who believe in what I believe, for people who, who have the same goals in mind that I have, for for people who are literally walking the same path I'm on. Like, okay, some things may be a little different, but we, we all trying to go to the same place. I've been praying to God for friends like that, for lovers like that, for family like that, for just anyone who resonates with what I resonate with, like bring them around. But, you know, I am a... In a I, I, I am still in a season where I find myself alone most of the time. Like, that's how God has me. I know that's for a reason. It's just so I can think. I find that it's harder for me to think. Not not, not that I can't think for myself when I'm around other people, but at the same time, it's like when somebody is constantly in your ear, like, how are you really hearing the message from God, right? Unless they're on, they're on the same thing. If somebody's chasing God and I'm chasing God at the same time, we're, we are going to get along great. Because we're chasing the same thing. We understand what where our time is delegated to, who is delegated to, how we how we have to operate, especially with each other, how we treat each other, because we're all testing each other constantly throughout the day. So I'm asking you, how can you be present? So I'm asking you, how can you be righteous in the presence of a sinner? So like I was saying, I still have a lot of friends that, that do things that I don't really resonate with anymore. And um, I ain't gonna even say a lot. A lot is a strong word. Whew. <laughs> I have a few, <laughs> but I'm not one to push my judgment on anybody or make anybody do anything. Like that's totally up to you. This is your path. This is my life. This is how I feel. I should live my life at the moment. So, you know, how you feel, you should live your life is how you feel. It's, it's totally up to you. But I find that it's harder to be who you want to be if you constantly have somebody around you that are bringing out the, the, the characteristics in you that you don't really want to to exhibit anymore that bring out you know things that you don't like to do anymore like I, I have said this in a previous video like when when your friends call you and they want to gossip but you are not the gossiping type anymore it's like kind of hard to talk to them because it's like dang you find out like you realize like dang that's all they really want to talk about is other people's business like oh my god I don't like doing this all day I don't like sitting right here on the phone with you talking about somebody else like it, it doesn't feel good to me the whole time I'm thinking like why are we talking about this other person and then even when I try to change the subject, it's like you want to justify why you're talking about this person like like you're not convicted. It's like horrible how people try to defend their actions and when they don't understand, it's just weird. I don't want to sit right here and discuss someone else's business all day. It's not. I don't even care what they have going on. It's not my business. I have my own life to think about. I am the celebrity in my life. I am amazing. In, in my life, everybody wants to know my business. In my life, everybody's on my neck. In my life, everybody is like, what's Janine doing? In my life, when I post something, it's like it goes, it don't go to the shade room, but it go to somebody group chat. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they discuss it amongst each other. Like, in my life, it's like, I'm, I'm that girl. You feel me? So, for me, it's like, you... If, if you think you're that girl, if you think you are whoever you are, you have to take accountability and, and ask yourself, what type of friends do I have around me? What type of people do I have hanging around me all the time? Like, what are they engaging in? I be seeing people go through stuff. I be like, yo, what, what, do, who am I? Who do, who is this person for real? Like behind closed doors? Like, I really want to know. Because you only know what people show you. That's how social media is, especially like these are, these are people, you know, because you can't be with somebody all the time unless you live with them. You know what I'm saying? That's all. That's the only time you really get to know somebody. Even when you live with them, the real them is in that phone. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's it's hard. You know what I'm saying? To it's it's hard to do the right thing anyway. But it's it's harder to do the right thing amongst people who are doing the wrong thing all the time in your face and showing you that they're still living, they're still okay, they're still thriving and prospering while they're engaging in these sins, engaging in the things that you want to stay away from. I can understand the struggle. 
but you got to understand people are not showing you what they're going through behind closed doors you don't know what they have going on people are so people are so sneaky and calculating anyway like they're constantly thinking i don't trust people because it's like you have a mind of your own and i can't read it the only thing I can go by is their actions and how they act and express themselves and, you know, what they do, their mannerisms, their their facial expressions. That's what I have to go off of. I have to literally learn how to read people in order to understand people because people are sneaky. So it is what it is. I have to really pay attention. So I say all that to say, you know, start taking inventory of the company you keep before you go hang out with your next friend, the next person that calls your phone, first of all, the next person that calls your phone. When they call it, ask yourself, what is what benefit is this conversation going to do for me? Like, what benefit am I going to, what am I going to get out of this conversation with this person? Just think real quick, like, what are they going to talk about with me? Just try to think to yourself. You can kind of gauge it, how the conversation is going to go. And then be like, is that going to help or hinder? It's helping or hindering. The next date you go on, the next person you go out with, the next person you spend time with, the next person you sleep with, everybody, like, just, just really take inventory and ask yourself, like, is this going to be in my life later on in the future? Is this instant gratification? Is this what I really want for myself? Or do I want more? I'm going to leave you with a scripture. Right now, I'm coming from Psalm. We doing 119 verse 115. And it says, Away from me, you evildoers, that I may keep the commands of my God. Away from me, people who don't resonate with, with me, people who don't care about the things I care about, people who ha who don't have the same morals and standards that I have. Away from me so I can keep the commands of my God so I'm not easily swayed or easily distracted and easily enticed into doing something other than what my God tells me to do. Right? And I hope you got my message today. Watch the company you keep. My name is Janique, Janique TV, and I'll see you in the next message. Thank you for watching. Peace.